I'm Jim Petrillo from uh, Cortland Manor, New York. Um, this is my 66 Caddy uh, DeVille convertible. Uh, it's mostly original. The paint is, has been redone, uh, but the uh, engine, uh, body, and frames are all, all original, as well as the interior. The um, car was originally owned by Bill Ruger of Ruger Guns uh, in northern Connecticut. He had it from 1966 till 99, and I actually bought it on eBay in 2000, believe it or not. Uh, that was when eBay was first starting, and I you know, wasn't sure. I wound up to getting a one-way ticket to uh, New Hampshire to pick up the car and drove it back that night. It was actually a great adventure. Um, overall, everything works. The air conditioning still works. Um, it's just, you know, just an absolute pleasure to drive. Just a matter of maintaining it. Probably the most reliable car I've ever, ever had. Uh, the roof is, is white um, and uh, the hydraulics have all been changed, but uh, works, works beautifully. Um, geez, I've been coming to this uh, cruise here, I would say since 2003. Um, I've owned this car since 2000 for 17 years and I had another 66 before that. So I used to come up with uh, both cars. Geez, this is the probably yeah, one of the best places to display your car, to learn more about other cars, to find a car if you want to buy one or sell one. Um, and there's a great community of people. It's so relaxed. <laughs> Um, you know, you don't feel like anybody's going to harm anything here or anybody. Um, and it's just a great group of people. Um, the hosts here are fantastic. They're, you know, they're, they're friendly and welcoming. Um, it's great to see the, uh, younger, the younger generations bringing the newer cars uh, today. They're starting to outnumber us, but it, at least we know that the, um, uh, yeah, that the whole uh, car show was going to live on beyond, beyond us. All right, how you doing? My name's Rob Kaminsky from Monroe, New York. It's a 1969 Dodge Charger. I've owned the car for coming up on 22 years now, and I'm the second owner. I bought it in Queens, New York. Didn't look like this when I bought it, but 18 months in a body shop, and this is what I got. The whole interior has been restored uh, about five years ago now. It's all from Legend. The engine, just the top of the motor, changed the heads intake, got a four barrel on it. It's a small block, but gets me where I gotta go. Could drive the car anywhere I want. It was originally F8 dark green. I've been coming up here for 12 years, and for a 10 minute ride from the house, you can't get a better thing to do on a Wednesday night. You got half million dollar Lamborghinis and Porsches on the hill, and then you got toys like mine. So, it's a good way to kill a couple hours and relax in the middle of the week. Breaks the week up nice. Makes you able to go to work the last two days. <laughs> My name's Roy Robinson, Harriman, New York. 49 Chevy Fleet Line. I've had this car 25 years. Took it from stock to what you see right now. It's got a three inch chop. And chopping a, a slant back is a nightmare. Three inches out of here out of here, you've got a pie cut the fenders and everything comes down together. It's got air suspension, small block Chevy, and a lot of other little Nobody details off Chrysler's Studebaker. Just a lot of work. Hi, I'm Ray uh, from West Milford. This is my father's, uh, my uh, 63 Lincoln. This was my father's car. It's a pretty much uh, unrestored survivor. Uh, most of the paint's original, the interior. Uh, did a lot of mechanical work to it, but under the hood. So we bought it back in the early 70s. My father bought it from the original owner. It's always been in a garage. Low mileage vehicle, 48,000 original miles. Heavily optioned car. Almost every option that was available in this Lincoln it has, except for the remote trunk release. It's the only thing it doesn't have. Uh, the rarest thing in it is the AM FM radio. FM was brand new in 63, and less than 5% of the cars got the FM, AM FM radio. Uh, well, it's a fun car to drive. It's a big, heavy car, over 5,000 pounds. 
and a unibody car. It's not a, it doesn't even have a full frame. We, yeah, we got it back on the road a couple of years ago after it sat for a while. Yeah, we just like to go to shows and cruise nights and and hang out and talk about Lincolns. There's not a lot of, not many on the East Coast that are, uh, survive. Uh, they rust pretty bad and fortunate that this car was garage kept its whole life. And I've been coming up here probably for, I'd say eight years now. I mean, with the car the last two, three years when I got it back on the road. But before that, I used to come up here and just walk around and cruise and check out all the cars. And, you know, this is one of the, this is like the best show in the area, I mean, car-wise. I mean, it takes me almost an hour to get here. And uh, this, is, this is the cruise night to come to if you want to see cars. Uh, my name is Ed Jamola. I'm uh, from Croton, New York, originally from the Bronx. The original 63 split window coupe. I raced it for about 10 years and it took me about 12 years to rebuild it. It was an NHRA race car. I actually trailered it all over the country and ran uh, from uh, D altered to uh, H altered and uh, it was manual. The Bob Engels motor which since has been, uh, everything has been sold, but uh, I restored it with my son. The uh, motor that's in it now is an original stock motor, 327, 340 horsepower, and it's been restored as stock as I could make it. Now the bodywork was done in Croton, uh, uh, Bob Amphitheatro, uh, body shop in Croton on the Hudson. Interior was done in uh, Peekskill, I think Reno was a, is the last name. We, we did all the labor. In fact, I got a, a, a sagging piece of material in the back, so don't take the inside. <laughs> My son Paul Hello. from Croton on the Hudson. This is a 63 Grand Prix that uh, is all original except for the color. It was, somebody had painted it blue, and we redid it in black, which is a tough color to keep. It uh, was ordered, I was the third owner. I was ordered in, and bought in uh, Ohio. Uh, the owner ordered with every luxury item. It's got power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, power windows, um, and he ordered it also with every high performance uh, goodie. The big motor, 421, the wheels. He had a Super Duty transmission, and I almost didn't buy it because on the bill of lading, it showed that they crossed out the rear end gear. And I had looked at a lot of cars, about six of them. They were all clones, it's a Catalina. The Grand Prix was an option on the Catalina, and it's the same size as the Catalina. It was used for drag racing and uh, uh, NASCAR years ago, uh, but it's very rare to see a Grand Prix like this. But anyway, the, uh, I went through the Pontiac Historical Society. That's really the only um, company at a GM that can verify the serial number and everything, so I went through that. They said it was a the original car and they told me that the rear end was changed at the factory because the guy had ordered it with a 430 rear which was you know commensurate with the performance equipment but with air conditioning he could have never ran, ran it in the street so they put a 390 rear in it and it's a real good driver very fast it'll kick you in the rear end when you open the tri power when, when he first got it he told me it was fast i got it in and it was uh pretty slow and he goes, wait, 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 when you feel the uh, gas pedal hit the stop, you like, push it even harder and then sure enough, the thing took off. So, yeah. And uh, he, he, he had been looking for this car since I was a little kid, because uh, why? Because it was uh, one of the first one yeah. you, your mother yeah. had ordered? I took my driver's test on it in the yeah. Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. The guy came to me, he said, I found it, I found it, it's some old lady's garage. What do you think? And now it's here. <laughs>